These shots are going to be awesome. Watch this. Hi guys, my name is Emily Ronaldo. And I'm Jason Lanier. So we're here to film with the, um, to shoot with the Sony 400mm 2.8. So this is a really fun shoot that Emily and I did with the 400mm G Master. Uh, it's a crazy lens in that it's the same size as you'd see with a Nikon or Canon. That's actually showing it side by side with the Canon 400 2.8. It's got all the bells and whistles, but because it's so much lighter, it can be shot handheld without using a monopod or tripod, which can give you some interesting advantages. So now we're gonna go. 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 And the funny thing is, with the distance apart that we had to stand to shoot, plus with all the ambient noise, we actually used walkie-talkies to make this shoot happen. Check, 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 can you hear me? My boss over there in the fancy blue shirt. <laughs> How you doing, little arsenal? Sorry, the train overruled your boss, and all I smell is dead fish. <laughs> You're hot, I'm, I'm in the heat. Screw Bluetooth. Walkie talkies, that's the way to go. Sister Fister over and out. Emily, clap over there. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> can I put you in my purse? Oh, yeah, put it just somewhere where you can hear me. Oh, I don't think it was a La 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 la. It is so hot. 115 degrees out here. Who comes out and shoots and stuff like this? This fool. So obviously a lens that's built for wildlife and sports and stuff of that nature is meant to be at a distance away. So our biggest challenge here, as you see Emily laughing at me, was shooting from such a distance, trying to communicate, and doing it in a really windy desert environment where it kept moving the monolite. This is the Flashpoint Orlet, a 600 monolite that we are utilizing. As someone who shot in South Africa many times on safari with a 100-400G Master, and on NFL sidelines with the same lens, um, and I own the Canon 400 to 28. I can tell you that this lens is special. It really is a very nice lens. It focuses very sharp, very quickly, and the difference in weight is a considerable factor for managing the lens and shooting with it, even when it's on a monopod. <laughs> oh, the pain of this fall. This was this light's first trip out with me, and it ended up being its last. So, the cool thing is we probably got that crash on camera. So kids at home, this is what happens if it falls. This is a brand new light, that's the first time I've shot with it. This is the uh, Orlet, it's a Rove Light RT610, flashpoint stuff. And I've broken it on my first shoot. That's phenomenal. So. <laughs> Mother freak or Santa Maria Guadalupe. Everything's going haywire. Uh, if this is a paranormal shoot, we blame it on ghosts. Since it's not, we're gonna blame it on heat. So this camera is turning off due to heat. There's this wafting, disgusting, freaking, mother freaking smell that is honestly vomit inducing, no? It's worse than the fish. It's so freaking disgusting. You guys have no clue. There's a bunch of people who forgot to take care of themselves hygienically. I don't know what else to say. This is rancid. I'm gonna see what the, uh, what I can salvage <laughs> out of this. <laughs> Luckily, the lens still works. Hopefully, the other cameras are not overheating. This one's overheated twice. It is so freaking hot out here. Even Leather McGillicuddy over here, the one who's always wearing leather jackets. I can't stand it. I'm so hot, I wanna scream, man. Look at this, this just completely warped. Stay tuned, let's see what happens. <laughs> I like it, the two-step in it. So now we're gonna do what photographers do best. 
Shoot a natural light. Shoot a natural light. That's some chump change right there. So we're losing cameras, losing lights. We're gonna persevere, right? Persevere. It was literally so hot out there that the mic stopped working. The camcorder that we had stopped recording and so what we had to do was film the rest of this with an on-board mic just on the A7R3. Due to losing the light, the rest of this shoot was done with natural light and all jokes aside about artificial versus natural light, I tell everyone who comes to my workshops, I tell everyone that I meet, all great photographers are natural light photographers first, even those who use artificial light. To the more experienced photographers out there, let me tell you one thing I loved about this shoot. The creative challenge. If you're stuck in a rut, if you feel like you've done it all, do a portrait session with the 400mm 2.8. It's a challenge and it's fun and if you can make it happen, it's gratifying. These shots are going to be awesome. Watch this. Don't move, I gotta let that car pass, but I like the shot. I can't say I've ever put a $12,000 lens in the middle of the street before, but I saw the lines, I saw the background, and I saw how it was going to make some amazing shots. So we went for it. Pretend to hit tight. This is the part of the shoot where I really noticed the difference in weight. Yes, I was resting a lot of it on the pavement, but being that it's a new lens and it's not mine, I didn't want to just rest it on the pavement. So being able to kneel down, hold the lens so my hand is against the pavement. The fact that it was a lighter lens made a huge difference and it really helped me to be able to compose and get these shots. I gotta say, I loved shooting in the middle of the road. Yes, I am crazy as everybody kind of knows, but it was fun and it, it gave me great leading lines. You can even see in the video camera there, just those yellow lines going down and leading into Emily. So I was able to do the same thing with this lens and it was such a creative challenge. The lens did really well and I have to thank my friends at Sony for sending me this lens all the way back in August and letting me use it and just a big thank you guys for doing that. Something that really struck me about these images as, as I was taking them was not only the heat that I was feeling in my body and in my legs, it was so hot, but you can see the heat in these images coming off of the asphalt. It's just amazing. We got it. I'm melting. Emily absolutely so killed it. Oh my gosh, it's hot. So did you enjoy that shoot? I loved that shoot. How did you do? I think I did all right. I think you did great. It was fun, it was hot, but I got to hitchhike. In the middle of the road, no less. In the middle of the road. I avoided buses and tractor trailers. She was running around like a pit up ninja. It was. It was. It was pretty <laughs> remarkable. We used walkie-talkies to communicate. Oh, yeah. That was excellent. We overheated 200,000 times. Along with the gear? The gear, yeah, overheated ridiculously. Um, not the camera. The A9 did all right. And even the A7R3, but the camcorder overheated. This is the same camcorder that froze in the ice cave. Yep. Of course, we do take this poor camcorder into the depths of hell. <laughs> I mean, either ice caves or... Fired ice. Fire to ice, no doubt. So, ice to fire. had a great time with the lens. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the shoot. Um, there's a link below if you guys want to order it. You may have to sell a car or four to buy it, but it is amazing. It really is. It's a definite specialty lens. You can find this beautiful woman at em.explores. That's em.explores on Instagramo. And you can find me at elbastardo.com. So, if you guys want to join us for a workshop, go to jasonlanner.com slash register. Don't forget your wrap up. Until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find the right model that works for you and remember. You only have one chance to get it right. Um, don't forget to get the gear right too. <laughs> Suckers. Suckers. Talk to you guys later. Peace. I think Rocky Talkies came out when Emily was still like 40 years old before. I, was, I wasn't even a seed yet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys still here? Hello? Talking to you. Hey guys, if you want to learn online with me, go to patreon.com slash Photography, and you will be able to continue this craziness online from anywhere on planet Earth with me. If you want to join me live, go to jasonlinear.com slash workshops, and you'll get to see me in my full glory live and in person, guys. I think there's a smudge on there. Did I 
it. Yeah, I got it. Talk to you later, guys. Bye.